Province is stepping up efforts to deal with Ebola. More than 100 education sessions have been held in the last two weeks, and there are plans for a lot more. Global's Jamie Dahl is at the Children's Hospital. And Jamie, while officials say the risk of Ebola here is low, they want to make sure health care workers are prepared. Linda, AHS wrapping up their efforts, coming up with a more concrete plan in the event that Ebola does pop up here. And if that should happen, the infected person would be sent to one of four designated Ebola treatment centres, two in Edmonton, the South Health Campus, and right here at the Children's Hospital. Now, over the past couple of weeks, there have been 110 Ebola training sessions in our province, right across, and that has included 1,700 healthcare workers taking part in that. Information packages have also been distributed to all AHS employees and Ebola personal protective packs have also been sent to all emergency room and urgent care centers. Today, AHS did a little show and tell to demonstrate what is exactly in those packages. Everything from protective face shields, headgear to aprons and buddy systems are being now implemented to make sure mistakes aren't made when gowns are put on and taken off. Now, of course, these are all just preventative measures. But again, AHS is insisting the chance of anything actually happening here is really quite low. Although Ebola virus it causes a serious disease, the risk to Albertans remains low as the virus does not spread easily amongst people. My advice to those who are worried about the likelihood of getting sick from something in Alberta is to get a flu shot. There are far greater odds of getting the flu than there are of Ebola. The province says it's in regular communication with its federal counterparts and that 80 more of those training sessions will start next week. Linda. Thank you, Jamie.